With the NFL season about to kick off, fantasy sports websites such as FanDuel and DraftKings are attracting plenty of attention for their splashy ads and supposedly giant payouts. But according to the deal's Michael Brown, participants in the fantasy sports segment may be testing the limits of what is considered legal when it comes to sports gaming. Fantasy sports as a whole is said to generate around $4 billion a year in revenue. Granted, that is but a small portion of all of sports gambling, both legal and illegal, which is estimated to be $400 billion annually. Regardless, fantasy sports companies, including FanDuel and DraftKings, have received millions of dollars in backing from media giants such as Comcast and private equity firms such as KKR. This investment has occurred as experts begin to question the lawfulness of some of the games being pushed by the industry. For example, fantasy sports websites are basing contests on a single golf tournament or on a single car race. That could be a problem because according to the Unlawful Internet Gambling Enforcement Act, regulations stipulate that results must be based on multiple events. The law also requires that games be based on skill rather than on luck. But as fantasy websites relax the criteria for picking teams, luck plays an increasingly larger role. There are defenders of such practices. Joey Levy, the founder of DraftPot, a daily fantasy website, says that because golf tournaments and car races can play out over several days, they constitute several events and are therefore legal. But such envelope pushing, at minimum, is likely to invite regulatory scrutiny. I'm Richard Collins with The Deal Report.